So I've had this slab of walnut laying around the shop for a while now, and I finally decided to make it into a floating shelf. But it has a few challenges. This straight chainsaw cut from where a branch was removed, and the end is fairly rotten. But it does have a few nice cracks that I'm going to feature with some hand inlaid ebony bow ties. So of course the slab has a little bit of a twist to it, and it's just a little bit too wide to go across my jointer. So I jigged up and flattened it out with my router slab. Once I got it flat, I sent it through the planer a few times to flatten out the other side, and then I flipped it over to plane off any marks left over from the router. Once I got it flat, I started to power carve off the straight chainsaw cut. To get an organic shape, I tried to think of it as water running off the edge eroding away the slab like it was a stone. My power carving method worked out pretty well to get a cool shape, and I came back later and refined it with a sander. For the end that had all the rotten wood, I decided just to use a wire brush to remove any loose materials, and then I would seal it up with finish when I got to that point. For the bow tie inlays, I drew out a few different sizes on a piece of paper, and once I decided which ones I liked, I glued the paper to the ebony and cut them out on the bandsaw. I use a chisel to clean off any saw marks left behind by the bandsaw, and then put a bevel on the back to help keep the fit tight when I inlay it. I put some double stick tape on the back of the bow ties to help hold them in place while I traced around them with the razor blade. Then after that, it was just time to sit back, relax with a few sharp chisels and start chopping out the mortises for the bow ties. I came in from both corners of the bow tie so I wouldn't overcut into the surrounding wood with the razor blade.
Once I got all the inlays done, it was time to cut it to size. I decided to cut it on an angle to make the end with the rotted wood a focal point. This way it kind of looked like the shelf was being pushed out of the side of the wall or, it was, or the wood was just kind of rotting into the wall. Or at least trying to make some kind of artistic statement with the wood. So now the last thing left to do is apply a finish and install it. But of course the wall is not square. Since the shelf is going into a stairwell and I'll be working off a ladder, I decided it would be a lot easier to scribe the shape of the wall onto a plywood template than to try to hold a big heavy slab up off a ladder. So I started out using a compass to transfer the shape of the wall to the plywood, then use a belt sander to sand to my pencil line, did a test fit, then transfer the template to the walnut and then back to the belt sander to sand it to fit to the shape of the wall. Then I checked it for square and used my block plane to adjust it where needed. Now the hardware I'm using needs to be installed pretty accurately, so I taped some craft paper to the wall to mark out the stud locations, then used the paper to transfer those locations to the slab. Then I used a block of wood as a guide to be sure I was drilling straight into the slab. I wanted to be sure it would hang level. Then I chiseled out a space for the mounting hardware. Then I created a story stick to help me locate the mounting hardware in the exact spots they need to be on the wall. The final thing I did before hanging the shelf was to put a few countersunk screws along the bottom edge. This will give me some lateral adjustment to level the shelf. If the shelf is tipping down, I can back the screws out a bit to push the shelf level. To locate the mounting hardware on the wall, I tacked up my story stick using just a few brads so it would be easy to pull down with minimal holes to fill in the wall. Now for the moment of truth, to see if it all fits.